Hello friends, today we are going to see how to traverse a binary tree in spiral level order traversal. This is also called as zigzag level order traversal. So let's see, this is the binary tree and now I will draw the spiral level order traversal. So A, C, B, then D, E, F, G, L, K, J, I, H and M, N, P, Q, R, S. So this is the spiral level order traversal of the binary tree. Because it is zigzag, it is also called as zigzag traversal. So let's write it A, then C, B, then D, E, F, G, then L, K, J, I, H, then M, N, P, Q, R, S. Yes, this is the spiral order traversal of this binary tree. Now, let's see the algorithm for doing this. For writing the program, we are going to use these two stacks. And this is the steps in the algorithm. So, let's read the steps. The first step is push root in S1. So, you have to push root of the tree in stack 1. So, let's push the root of the tree. So, I have pushed A in S1. Now, next step, the second step is pop from S1 and print. So, you have to pop from S1. So, the popped node is A. I will always write the popped node from S1 in this box. So, currently the popped node is A. Next step, push in S2. So now, after we write this popped node in the output, we have to push in S2. So, what we have to push in S2? We have to push the left and the right child in S2. So you have to follow the order left to right. So for A, you have to first push the left child and then the right child. So let's do it. So B and C. So we'll push B first and then C. Let's see the next step, the fourth step. Pop from S2 and print. So now you have to pop from S2. So popped node will be C. I will write the popped node from S2 in this block. So now, as the popped node is C, you have to print that popped node in output. And you have to push the right to left child in S1. Okay, you have to perform the fifth step that is push in S1 and which order right to left child. So, for C, first push right child and then left child. So, let's push right child first and then the left child. Okay. Now, you have to pop the last element. Remember here that you have to keep popping from S2 till this stack is empty. Okay. Here, you can see here is a loop. This is the inner while loop and this loop continues till the stack 2 is empty. So, you have to pop from S2 now. So, pop again. So, now you will pop. So, the pop node is B. Then print B in the output and go for right and left child of B. So, for B, right child is E and left child is D. So, E and D. We have pushed in the stack 1. Now, as this stack 2 is empty, we will come out of this loop and we will go to the beginning. That is the 
second step now again pop from s1 so in short you have to keep popping from s1 and pushing in s2 and after s1 is empty then you have to pop from s2 and keep pushing in s1 till s2 is empty okay and when both are empty then this outer while loop will be over and you will come out of it okay let's follow the steps now pop from s1 so d is popped so i will write d here and i will write d in the output now let's take left and right child of d so what is left and right child of d h and i so push h and i in s2 now pop again so the popped node is e and we will write e in the output okay so now for e check whether it has left and right child no it doesn't have so there is no need of pushing anything in the stack 2 so let's pop again so the next pop element is f so i will write f in this block and in the output okay check for left and right child they are j and k so push j and k in the stack 2 now go for popping g so write g in this block and in the output okay so for g there is no left child only right child is there so push l in the stack 2 so now as stack 1 is empty so our job of popping from stack 1 is over now let's shift to stack 2 for popping the elements so let's start popping in stack 2 so pop from stack 2 that is l so i will write l in this block and in the output okay now for l let's check for l we have to push the right child first and then the left child so the right child first and then the left child so right child is s and left child is r so let's push s and r so now you have to pop again so k pop node is k and you have to write k in the output let's check k doesn't have any children so there is no need of pushing anything in stack 1 so the next popped node is j now so i will write j in this block so for j right child is q and left child is p let's push it q and p okay so we forgot to write uh, j in the output you have to write j in the output as well okay now let's pop again so i is popped i will write i in this block so i in the output so for i there is no left or right child so we don't need to push anything now let's pop again h so h i will write in the block and in the output okay so now for h the right child is n and the left child is m so we have to push n and m first the right child and then the left child okay so we have pushed n and m and we have written h in the output so as the stack 2 is over the stack 2 is empty now shift to stack 1 for popping the elements so let's pop so we popped m so i will write m in this block let's check m has left and right child no so there is no need of pushing anything only write in the output 
okay so in this way as n p q r s all the elements they don't have any children we just pop these elements and we write these elements in the output so n p q r and s instead of wasting time i have just told you in shortcut that all these elements are going to be popped and we are going to write them in the output so all these are popped and the last element in this block will be s the last popped element okay so this is how we print the spiral traversal in binary tree by making use of these two stacks so now when these two stacks are over both stacks are empty we will come out of this main while loop so now we will see the program for doing this so this is the function and this is the pseudo code name of the function is spiral and we are passing root of this binary tree to this function so now first we have to push the root in stack 1 as you know you have to push root in stack 1 and then you have to check whether there are nodes in one of the stacks if these two functions return false this means both stacks are empty then we have to exit from this while loop but for now there will be nodes in stack 1 as we have just pushed but when we come in the next iteration here there may be or there may not be nodes in these two stacks so let's go ahead now inside while s1 dot has nodes if s1 has nodes you have to pop from s1 and p is a pointer pointing to that node so when you pop you will get a so pointer p will point a now and you will print a after that you will check whether it has left node yes it has left node then you will push that left node in stack 2 then you will check whether it has right node here you will check whether it has right node if it has then you will push that right node in the stack 2 so you will do this till stack 1 is empty after stack 1 is empty you will come out and you will go to pop from stack 2 if it has nodes so if it has nodes you will pop from stack 2 and you will print the respective nodes again you will check whether there is a right node for p so for example for uh, a we had pushed b and c and when we pop c will come first then we will check whether it has a right node here yes if it has then we will push the right node then we will check whether it has left node yes it has then we will push the left node the only difference in these two while loops is that here first left is pushed and then right child but here first right child is pushed and then left child so here first left child then right child here right child then left child so this is how the program works for printing the spiral level order traversal hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you